What? <laughs> what up, you? What's going on, man? Dude. How you been, bro? I've been good. And you know what? <sighs> we are the adventures of the black nerds. I am Baron J67. And I am at T Jones. It's been a while. Yeah, I almost got caught you, up right there. You know. It is T Jones. Yes. This is episode 28 for you. Yes. Beautiful people out there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah. Uh, shout out Tone Deaf Radio. You yeah. shout out uh Tone Deaf, everything. Tone Deaf, Tone Deaf, Tone Deaf. Hey, yeah, you... Tone Deaf. Hey, been, okay. It's funny, uh, we've been gone for two weeks, uh, so a lot has happened. Yes. There's a lot for us to catch up and talk about. Uh, reasons why we've been gone is mostly on my part, well, all on my part. I just had a son. Woo! Uh, baby boy was born. I came into the world two weeks ago, and yeah, so now we're back. We got to we gotta make up for the time lost. Yeah. Since we're... then, we had what? We had... Uh, Luke Cage came out. We watched Luke Cage. Um, yes. I don't think you, yeah. I haven't no, finished not, it all. But yeah, I was about to call you out on that. No, nah, well, you know what, bro? Don't even get me started. It's so much to watch. <laughs> it's so much going on, man. Like it's so much going on. Cheese and so, crackers. Sony Fortnite still happening. Sony yeah. and Fortnite's debacle. And then uh, we've been playing a new game yes. that I didn't think I would be interested in. State of Decay 2, so we have to discuss that. Yes. Um, what else, man? What else has been going on? You know what, man? Um, the I, I really think the review culture has been something I wanted to talk about for a while now. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it's more or less that, you know, we can lead off with that. Let's let's jump into that. And then once again, congratulations on your son. Good, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate uh, you. But let, let's talk about the review culture. Now, for me... Overall, reviews are positive. I, I think reviews are some of the most necessary things ever. I buy a lot of stuff online. I mean, I've even bought a mattress online. Um, so I I depend heavily on reviews. But also, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Because here it is. There could be a product, a game, a movie, a CD, uh, anything out there. And I could pass on it just because I came across one too many negative reviews or there was or there was one negative review out there just one but that was yeah. bad enough to make me not want to roll the dice whether Man, it's with you know my what? time or my money uh, okay so speaking specifically on in on games in that review culture the bad part about that is the fact that when you go to buy games and somebody has played it there, some people aren't attracted to every type of genre of game True. out there. So when you're watching a view, a review on a specific person, you, you may like this person be, because of his entertainment value to the videos that he creates, but that may not be the game for him. So he may not like the game. So he may be talking trash on the game and saying all of this stuff that you shouldn't be saying about the game because it's not for him. True. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you when you break down stuff like the mechanics, latencies, stuff that we can all relate to, because that's in any type of online game that you you play nowadays, then I can understand that. But when you're talking about, oh yeah, it's it's slow place, or I don't like the building mechanics. Well, maybe the game just wasn't for you. So this is why give it. I I kind of slowed down on watching on basing purchasing games off of reviews of, of from other people. Now, if it's a trusted source that I know have played the same games that I play or they made their growing based off of games that I like and we kind of I cannot kind of sense like a similarity in, in in game style and game play that we may I'm I'm a go I'm gonna rock with that and Thanks. I'm gonna listen to that. But even even like something as simple as Amazon, purchasing something off of Amazon and reading it Sometimes you'll read it and see that the reviews are like, like, dang, man, it looked good. Should I get it? And then you read, you start reading some more reviews and you're like, you know what? I'm not risking it. And, and you know what? Let me tell you, when it comes to, for example, um, the way I purchase stuff based on reviews f when it comes to Amazon is a lot different than when I go see movies or I buy video games or listen to music. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to purchasing stuff, and this is just a general, I mean, it's a pro tip that I give. I go mm -hmm. and I look at the top, uh, I go to the five-star reviews and I read through as many of those as possible 
and then I go to the to the negative reviews, the the one star reviews, the zero one stars, yeah. And I look at as many as those as possible because mm-hmm. then you get a feel for what it's supposed to be, yeah. And what's the worst that can happen? See how, how I do it is I do it kind of similar to that, but I also check out uh, the ratio. Uh, like the, yeah, the, 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 the yeah. amount of people that like it to the compared to the amount of people that hate it. Like if or there's the a, amount of people that had the problem with it. And I, you know what? That's funny. That's a point I forgot to mention. If mm-hmm. like for example, if I see a hundred people loved it, and twenty percent had a bad experience, because twenty percent or twenty people, which is twenty percent, that mm-hmm. and um, the, what I would go do is look through those twenty people's complaints, and. If most of them have to do with timely, you know, what time the order got there or yeah. or it, it wasn't so much about damaged product or the product not doing what it said it would do, then I usually roll with it and I'll get it. But if okay. if, but if those 20 people, everything has to do with the quality of the product and, yeah. it, and it doesn't seem like hate because you can you can see people who are just mad. Like, of course. Yeah, because and that's and that's actually a really another point, and I'm kind of divvying off. Um, most most people who take the time to go and write reviews, it's it's not really good. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's what I like about Amazon because people from Amazon actually, you'll see people who want to go and let people know, like, hey, this is worth it. This yeah, because they'll they'll also post like pictures, they'll yeah, post videos, videos. Yep. you know, things like that. And that's why I like I, I base it off of those type of reviews as well. Because if I see, for and then matter of fact, it was a it was a phone case. Now I, I've been I've stuck by this phone pay phone case since I bought this since I uh, switched over carriers, and uh, it's I forget the name of it. But anyway, uh, they. When I bought the phone case, I was reading all the negative reviews. Oh, it doesn't fit. It snaps easy. The screen scratches easy because it came with a, a its own protective she, skin, uh, screen, screen protector mm-hmm. with the case. So it's attached to the case. So you clamp it on and all of that. Well, I'm like, well, I'd rather that scratched up because I know my phone's going to get scratched up if I don't have it. And then how many screen protectors, you know, last a long time and don't get scratched up or don't get dirty. I was like, all right, cool. Let me test it out. And since then I love the case. And when I first bought this case, when it first came out, it had more dislikes or more bad reviews than and good reviews. Damn. But it was on, it was like almost neck and neck. Uh, but this see, is you're... from people posting videos of it. Uh, oh, okay. People posting pictures of it, so I got to exactly see exactly what was going on and why people were having problems with it and the things that they were doing. Because I don't drop my phone like that anyway. Yeah, and facts. You, you know, me saying how many times these people dropping their phones for you to be breaking stuff and destroying the sides and the edges and stuff. So, I mean, that's just a that's a little example there that Amazon and with, when you go to Amazon, they do these people are putting the time in to make perfect reviews or almost perfect reviews for people to for other people to go and see true like i mean f- shit i i bought it i bought a mattress i bought a mm-hmm. mattress from amazon and it, it was the most nerve-wracking experience because you know you're spending a bunch of money yeah and you're like you're spending a bunch of money on a product you haven't touched yeah so i'm bank i'm banking on everybody to do their part. And to this day, we still use it. I mean, we've had it over six months now. Shit, I didn't even know you could buy mattresses on Bro, Amazon. I just went to look right buy, now. <laughs> you could buy just about everything. Yeah. On, when I say yeah. everything, you just about. Now, back rolling this back over to the point of it, to video games. Now, the, the when it comes to me watching people's reviews... I like to, I like to, I keep my, my sources. Like I got somebody for fallout type stuff and RPG Mm -hmm. type stuff. Then I got somebody for action games. Like, you know what I mean? Like I have my, like you mentioned before, you got your specific people for specific games and types of games. Cause I'm not going to go watch somebody who plays board games, go watch their review on an RPG on uh, or sports game on on Madden. Yeah. I'm not going to go watch their review on Madden. Why would I even now? It could be the best review ever, but just as in my time, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't roll the dice doing that. Uh huh. Um, 
but you let, know, oh, you know, go continue, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say so. I have another point to that. Okay, um, so it uh, it's it's just a matter of you got to be careful because you'll let somebody's review, somebody you trust, talk mm-hmm. you out of a good experience. I'm a I'm gonna say this. I think that just like I, I've said on this podcast uh, plenty of times, we should do away with with demos. Uh, we should do away with early access. Um, I think a lot of people should take that up. And my point is because it, it, like you said, go to somebody that's about that. Now you may go to the trusted source on sports games, right? But remember they only play or they, their majority of their games that they play is sports games. So they may love the game. They may love every sports game coming out from that point on. So their review probably won't be as honest as it should be. So that's another thing to think about as well. So if you just go out and that, and the bad part about this is you may spend money that you probably didn't want to spend once you've got the game, played the game and had the full on experience of the game. Cause I'm a firm believer in experiencing every part of the game before you making a, a final verdict on what you thought the game was and how it is. Unless it's like, like Madden because that Madden and 2K and NHL and NBA and baseball, they don't really change like that. But when you have games like, like destiny and, and these games that we talk about most of the time on here, if you haven't beat the game or experienced the full end game content, I don't think you should be giving reviews, but going to a trusted source that plays these type of games or plays this one specific game that may have gotten a new DLC or something like that. You're probably not going to get the full honest truth and breakdown from it because they may be blinded by the fact that, oh, I love the first one, so I'm going to love the second one. I've seen it happen all the time. And I brought up Destiny. Mm. We've both said this. Look how many people thought Destiny 2 is going to be the shit. Hey, and, and you know look what? where it's at now. You know what, man? Let me, let me tell you this about Destiny. And I think mm. we've said this on previous podcasts. I was at, yeah. I was at E3 watching people play it when yeah. when they announced it or when mm-hmm. when before it came out and as w- soon as i seen it i was like and I, I think i told you i was like it looks like destiny yeah. now of course there was some changes which i didn't really notice outside of the running um outside of the way they did the sidearms and whatnot the weapon system the weapon yeah. system but outside of that man i totally i was like it just i don't i when I hear about a new game, I, I, I want new scenery. Yeah. I don't, I want, but that's not, that's not what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. The point of the, the point of it is they, they told us what it was going to be. They didn't, they didn't lie. Just like we can use see if these, see if these is a way better example, easier to explain. Uh-huh. I did a review and you can go up and watch it and I'll make sure to put the link below. You can go and watch Sea of Thieves. Uh, you can go the Sea of Thieves Alpha and Beta or Beta. Mm-hmm. It was ninety percent of the game. See, that's the big issue for me. This is why I don't like trailers. This, this is why I don't like but, demos anymore but, because but, of that. But let me let me tell you. So you have a problem with early access, and not so much. Uh, and then you have a problem with technical. Uh, what are they called? Uh, I have a problem with the experience being ruined before I get to experience it. So you okay? Now this is and this is something that used to be done real successfully. Because you remember, if you had PlayStation Magazine, or if you got, uh, I even want to say it was a Game Informer too. I for- Xbox Xbox Magazine did it, Dreamcast did it. Yeah, Xbox they Magazine. They gave you the disc as the demo. Yeah, you used to get yeah. in the magazines. You would get demos. But, um, but keep in mind, it, it was too. Go ahead. Those remember though any demo? Have you did you remember playing Tomb Raider demo on PlayStation? Yes. You remember what the demo was? No, because and this is the point I was gonna make, and I, I felt uh-huh. like um the point is they were technical tests. They were there to show you what you could potentially be doing. Yeah. What you could very rarely, which some of them did. I'm not going to sit there and act like none of them did this, but very rarely was it a full dive experience into the game. Then of from course. what I remember, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, uh, or you correct me, 
um we had um what was that stuff um then it transitioned into timed demos where it would be the game for the first like three or four hours but they would open that up but you only had an hour of play time mm. then it, i never i don't think i've ever experienced you don't remember those, those? yeah they no, still they still have them those. if i'm not mistaken yeah. they still have them. Oh, well they still do them nowadays with brand new a1 titles yes oh yeah we'll open up the demo the beta or this is what they'll do they'll give out codes for the Matter of fact, they did this for Destiny, and they'll they give did out it for codes. FIFA, if I'm not mistaken. But go ahead. They'll give out. They'll give out codes. They'll send code because remember they were sending me codes. They sent you codes as well. I was giving people out codes, and then what happened? Okay, cool. Then the next wave of people can get the codes, and then they're playing it. And then what they do? They opened it up for a week for everybody to play, and then after that week, they shut it down, and yep. then no one's able to play again. My concern with that is you don't give me an experience like that if if like the story mode in the game is three hours long you gave me one hour of gameplay that's one third of the game yeah. i don't want to that's you're ruining the experience for me yeah. but that's why i was comparing it to tomb raider do you remember how long the first tomb raider was no that shit was long and remember they gave you the demo on that was the first part when you first started up and you had to try to escape from that leopard. That was it. You beat it and then it goes to the credit and then you show like the PlayStation logo and all that. You know how many times you had to play that just yeah. to have fun? Hey, no, and hey, no, and that's and this is what I'm saying, and this is I'm a hundred percent with you. But yeah. I felt like the problem you have is I think it would be better defined as early access. Yeah, because I mean, no, like literally, that, not not the term, but the actual like. No, thing, I was early about to say you're right because even even transitioning over the movies, if mm. the movie is in the trailer, what the hell? Yeah, the last that's, Mission Impossible, not the one that's coming out, not Fallout, but the one before it. It the it. issue was if you watch the trailer, hell, even if you watch the, they did a 007 esque intro. For that movie, mm -hmm. and they told you the whole movie. See, in the intro, like if you pay, you didn't know what you were looking at, but as soon as you finished the movie, you thought about this, it. Like, this oh. is why I say to this day, Hancock is one of my favorite movies. Oh, you <laughs> because you had no idea you what you were getting know into. What the heck yep. was going on with that I, movie? I agree, I agree. That that was good. Man, it's just so crazy how, what we've come. Like they, I think what they do is they try to sell it so much. Even music, they try to sell it, sell it so much, so much, so much, just so people can can be hyped up for it. And then when you get it, it's only a, a two, three hour experience. Well, well, let me tell let me tell you this one, and I'll use the most popular one of the most popular CDs out right now, Drake's, mm. um, the yeah. Scorpion album. For me personally, my this is the first time I've ever heard a Drake album where the only songs I truly like are the ones <laughs> that the were singles. already played. Before the, the album singles. came out, yeah, yep. that this the is singles. that this is a first for me. When it, I'm a, I love Drake music. I mm -hmm. buy, you know me. I still buy yeah. CDs, and to prove my point, because people be thinking I'm bullshitting. Like I buy CDs. I bought two mm -hmm. copies of these. Like, <laughs> like I, I buy CDs. This is this yeah. is what I do. He, he so, bought that life. I'm about that life. So when I tell people. When it come to me and music, I take it very serious. So yeah. I mean, hell, I got MF Doom posters and sh paintings, and, but whatever. Oh, that's not place. that's not the point. And it's crooked on purpose. Um, but <laughs> but um, y'all y'all give them hell in the comic section, bro. <laughs> I I got hell on my last video I put up on YouTube. They're like ah, yeah, like, oh, uh, it was it was it was kiddo. He was like, oh, uh, your picture crooked. I'm like, I, I was trying to be artistic. <laughs> But I did the, uh, I did okay, so now I feel stupid. I feel like those memes where it'd be like when you thought you was looking cute and somebody say, "What's wrong with you?" Like, like, oh. God, tuck your tail. Yeah, but like, I, but, I get it, man. But no, I really do. Now that that was a problem for me. Even the mm -hmm. one Drake CD I didn't like, which was uh, "More Life." I didn't like the "More Life" album. It I didn't had, like. 
you know what? Go he ahead. had some he had some gems on there. No, like that's like what that's what I'm about to say. And Blim, that's it. Blim is one of my top like ten played songs on my phone. Like, no long talking was my favorite song on that album. Ah, okay. I, and, and that was with the guy from UK. I forget the dude's oh, name. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but the point the what were we talking about? I totally blank. Oh, early access and pre okay. And Drake you're comp you're talking about Drake because the only songs you liked on there was the ones singer. I already heard. So yeah. now now you sell me an album which I didn't buy because I have Spotify and I listened to it and I was like, ah, oh, it's not worth my money. It's like twenty something songs. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get at least twelve songs. But this but this is fire. But this is the problem though. The fact mm -hmm. that when that challenge came out, that one everybody was doing, uh, I didn't yeah, know what the, song that was. In my from. feelings. I didn't know what song that was from. I was like, I don't really? know. I was looking around, I was like, what I was what? I was in the gym and somebody said it to me and I listened to the I brought the song up and was on the treadmill running listening to that song. I was like, man, I gotta go home and listen to this. <laughs> I can't listen to this on the treadmill. I, I just I was like, uh -huh. I was like, who's this Kiki? And why doesn't she love him? <laughs> Kiki but, I, At first you know what? At first when I heard it, I thought it was about to be some like some beef some more beef shit because you know, uh, I think it's Fetty Wap, 6 9 and one other dude. They got a song called Kiki. Yeah, they do. I was like, is this beef? Something's going on? Is, is nah, this some more? No, he's, he's <laughs> Jack talking Jacket. About... He, about... I'm not a writer. I'm a biter. <laughs> oh, God. But look, but look, man. Point, point blank. Early access issues. Yeah. Now, let me tell you my worst ever early access issues. Not situation, but story that I read and it really bothered me. Mm -hmm. Ark, when Ark came, um, Ark was early access up until this. I want to say the end of last year. I could be wrong. Once again, folks, please, we do not mind corrections. Please let us know in the comments. I I want to give correct information, and I could easily look it up, but I'm not Joe Rogan, and I don't have an assistant, and my table's wobbly, so it'd be shady. Yo, we need an assistant. We do. <laughs> That'd be dope to have somebody here like screen sharing and just like sh typing up info to okay. verify what we're saying. Because if I start typing, my com my computer's gonna shake. Like this camera's, I'm gonna have to put a bi uh, a tripod up or mount it on the wall or something. Cause yeah, this camera it'll wobble like a motherfucker. Okay, okay, so I can get, I can answer your question. Um, mm -hmm. or I can answer that. Arc. Uh, it launched on Steam early access in June 2015. Now listen right? to these dates. Go on the ahead. eve, on the eve of E3 in Los Angeles, this is 2017. Uh, announced they announced Wildcard announced that Ark Survival Involved would end its journey through early access after more than two years of live development. The game will get a worldwide retail and digital release on August 8th and come out simultaneously for Linux, Mac, PlayStation 4, Windows, PC, and Xbox One. But the question was... What date? You didn't say a date. Why has it doubled in... <laughs> you didn't say a year. Why suddenly cost twice as much <laughs> yeah. to play the same damn thing? <laughs> now, you don't have to rebuy the game. That that I will say. You don't have to rebuy the game. But let me tell you, there was something in there they left out. Do you know mm -hmm. that game, that company, had the nerve to release DLC? Oh, really? No, I didn't, I didn't see that. Charge, I didn't get too far. And charge for it. <laughs> That's crazy. But let's 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 take it a That's... step further. Look what PUBG is doing. Look what PUBG. I want to say PUBG is charging for their uh what is it called? Sonoy. Um They are? I thought that was free. Is it free? I hope so. I hope Cuz Miramar Miramar was free. I can tell you right now. Uh I hope I'm wrong. I don't like being right about shit like that. Yeah. Like, look, but the point, the point is, look how long PUBG has been early access. Yeah. Look how long Fortnite, and why would Fortnite, why would these games want to release a full release? Why? Other than to remarket it. Like, hey. There's no point. They, they, wait, there is no point. Need, hey, no. They don't even need to remarket the game because yes. they got the perfect it. Well, let me, PUBG, let me, let me prove my point. PUBG. Let me prove my point. Fortnite. Let me prove my point. You can your point. Jordans. If Jordan can That's... resell the same shoe ten times in ten years or in five years or fifteen years, 
Yeah, they... but th- that's different. Not everybody has access to Jordans. Okay, okay. Look, I got everybody you. in the world has access to but get, free but Fortnite. Guess, Fortnite's but guess, on your phone. But guess what? How many of it? How often is it the same people buying the same shoes? It's it's hype beasts. It's they are the only ones buying the shoes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now, let's carry this over. People always want that new new, and there's people. People are still buying PlayStation 4s and Xboxes. But the, the difference, see, the difference with that and this is everyone's buying this. Not the same people. Everyone. Everyone's buying Fortnite. Everyone's buying V-Bucks. Everyone's buying PUBG because it's, it's, it's everywhere. It's on your tablet. It's on your phone. It's on your Nintendo Switch. It's on your Xbox. It's on your PlayStation. It's on your computer. It's everywhere. It is everywhere. When I seen Drake, Drake Rich has playing Fortnite, Why? <laughs> you culture vulture, <laughs> bro. What did, you, what did you jump in Fortnite for? Stay in your lane. He's just be a rapper. Man. But he, but and I'm just joking about wouldn't that. that but hey, wouldn't that? That's suck? what I'm saying. Hey, wouldn't that suck balls if these rich clout filled people just all of a sudden, just like how they used to do a DJing? It's the same mm-hmm. shit. Remember, everybody was being became a DJ for a while. I even think mm-hmm. Paris Hilton was DJing for a while. <laughs> Like, yeah, because and then they would host parties and they would be behind the table. Now, whether or not they're really DJing, it's a different story. But yeah. you took advantage of the fact that you have a name. Now, yeah. here's a better question. Is this even wrong? It It's wrong to the I think it's wrong to the people who put their passion into this. Because imagine if Drake opened up a Twitch account and started streaming twice a week. It's over. I mean, but no, people do it. No. Look at Mouse. Look yeah. at the DJ Mouse. Yeah, yeah. he opened He's up a, a tournament and everything. And, yeah. and I watch him. It's, and I watch him. And he got flack. He, he got flack for talking smack about Ninja. Yeah, it's like, bro. He called him, he called him he, some homophobic slur or something like that. Hey. I'm not going to get into it because I don't want that drama. But, but he, he says something in that regards to him. And what happened? He jumped into the stream of Ninja and was like, hey, man, I'm sorry. And donated to him. Bro, and he still was, and he still was like up there in views because obviously views matter right now. Sorry, I hit the mic like that, but he was up there with the view count in PUBG. But he's there because he was bro. a DJ. He ain't like awesome bro. at the game like bro. these other people. Imagine if like Instagram Logan bro. Paul, yeah, <laughs> Logan like, Paul streams and he trash. Hey, look, imagine, imagine if like Kim K, me. Kim K, or the rest of the Kardashians all opened up Twitch accounts. Kanye. If Kanye opened up one, if it's over, bro, and it's and you know what? I wonder if they don't realize how easy it would be for them. I wonder if that's what let it me, is because let people, because ch- bro, I have subscribers. If my let measly me. ass can make some money, I can only imagine what if I was if I had a hundred if I if I had a million subscribers on YouTube, uh-huh. I would post a video and say, see. Catch me on Twitch. But that, listen, listen to me. This is how I knew the industry was all screwed up, that they didn't know that a lot of people don't understand and probably for a couple more years won't understand YouTube and Twitch and this creative space of what it is. Jake Paul. Now, I, I'm not really a fan of Jake Paul and all of them Logan Pauls and whatever them Pauls is. I'm not really a fan of them. But, but, they he went on um on the Breakfast Club. Now Breakfast Club is something that I watch faithfully. Shout sure. out to them. I I love their show. Uh, I love their interviews because DJ NV Charlamagne yeah. God and Angela Yee. No, but go ahead. Uh, I just like it. because they they kind of get you get three different types of perspectives on that show. Well, he gets on the show and uh, they're 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 talking to him, and we all know that Jake Paul's gets a million views just by sitting there and being stupid. Well, he gets on and they ask him like how, like they basically were lost on how he was famous. Like how was he making money? And, and that's them. I I was sitting back like, you guys are either y'all don't know what y'all, y'all got going on in your own spaces. Yeah. But y'all lost. 
YouTube is the future. <laughs> it, it, it is now. YouTube is the now. Twitch is the now. And this is why you're seeing a lot of people come on over and start making these platforms on these platforms because they're seeing what the potential, what it potentially can do. And this is why, like, I, this is why I, I'm, a, I'm okay with the competition. I'm okay with Instagram starting their own video mm -hmm. service. I'm okay with, because it's just more of it to go around. Every, you, everybody, you can literally be the, you can be the employer and the employee and the fan or the customer all in the same space. Yeah, without you leaving see what the I'm same window. Yeah, you're without right. even without leaving your chair right here. Yeah, you're right. So this is why I knew like that part of the industry, that part of the entertainment business, don't understand. Or matter of fact, let's take it a step further. When Jimmy, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel, went on and didn't know shit about video, gaming. And he went on and started making jokes about, oh yeah, yeah. So kids watch other kids play games. Oh yeah. You remember? Yeah. And he got shitted on. He he like broke the record in most dislikes on that video on YouTube. And then what did he do? He had to get. I think it was. I want to say it was PewDiePie. That PewDiePie came on and they, and explained to him what it was. So he cut. He got a chance to understand what it was. Hey, you know what's but, scary? Let's take this. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Like no, no, that, I was just done. I was just on the rant there because I understand what YouTube and Twitch and these platforms are, you know, and I understand the reason why I enjoy it and like it is because I don't watch TV no more. I, really I don't, don't watch either. Netflix. I, don't, I watch Twitch and YouTube because, yeah. <laughs> because Twitch and YouTube got everything. YouTube got movies that I want to watch on there. I just I just watched a <laughs> documentary. Uh, this guy made a little documentary on um it was more or less his perspective on the character yeah. guts from berserk oh. and he broke down how he was one of the original dark fantasy from the manga series or from the mm -hmm. manga universe and blah, yeah. blah 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 and it was just dope to hear that perspective on it now go i ahead. i'm i i won't say what i was watching and who i was watching it on but i'm watching stuff that i'm supposed to only be able to watch on the movies, buying on movies and stuff like that hey, on YouTube. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> YouTube is life. My kids watch YouTube. My wife watch YouTube. I don't got cable in my house. I haven't had cable there's, in like six. There's no matter of fact. Years. Matter of fact, listen. I, I went and got Hulu Live Hulu for one day just to watch the soccer match. There you go. <laughs> that was there it. You go. Shout out France and uh, Croatia. Even and, though Croatia kind of bullshitted that win, I'm not gonna lie. They did. Hey, let's yeah. let's be real. Jumping on the ground, oh, oh bro, and don't want to get up. I was so bro. bad. <laughs> and then I felt so bad for that kid from Manchester, bro. He was 20 years old, and it came yeah. down to that free kick. Yeah. Can you imagine carrying your country on your back, and it's down wow. to a free kick? Like literally, once the ball leaves your foot, the match is over. So. It I think on, I kid. think only Laker fans and Laker fans and Raider fans would be upset, Ooh. like at their guy. I don't think I don't think like Eng I think England is like all about the whole. I think any country like that, pretty much. I think it's only Laker fan and, and Raider fans that go berserk and crazy want to burn jerseys and and houses down when people mess up like that. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Um. Now. But it just it's it's so crazy, man. And oh, and I'm rooting for France. I'm sorry. I I'm done told you. France. I done. What did I say from Jump Street? I said France. Well, Y'all better watch France. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, man. You know what? I honest. What, okay, so we'll jump onto this. We'll jump onto the World Cup, and then we'll wrap up because I felt like we haven't even wrapped up reviews. But we haven't. We we literally jumped all the way like, to Jake Paul, all the way to Jake Paul. Summer Paul. We'll go back. Paul, 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 we'll, them Pauls. Uh, we'll we'll go uh, catch these Pauls. No, but yeah. we'll we'll go, we'll go back to uh, reviews. But mm -hmm. with the with the World Cup, I thought Germany stood a solid chance of pushing to the finals again. I mm -hmm. honest to God believe that. But that was those dreams and hopes went to crap when I seen that Mexico match because mm. they looked like they didn't know what planet they were on. Yeah. Um, they, Mexico was taking shot after shot after shot. 
and Germany was just sitting there stuck. And then the one guy who was taking shots almost got a red. And it just, it just yeah, yeah I, I just seen it. And I was like, ah, oh, this, this ain't going, this ain't going to go over well. It's just and not then, going the way it should go. And then my second team, um, who was it? I was hurt after that. After that whole get down, I kind of fell apart and just watched highlights. And I'd catch a match every now and then. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm, I'm happy to see France. I can't wait. I good. can't wait either. What is it? I ain't really much for it's, me to say is on it that. Saturday. It's no. This Saturday is uh oh third place. Um, England, yes, third yeah. place. England and uh, is Belgium. I think England mm-hmm. and Belgium, and then the following week after that is uh the finals. <clears throat> is the finals. the finals. Okay. Um. But yeah. But now, now piggybacking or rolling back to reviews. Yeah. I almost let bad reviews. Because it was so many, and so many people I respected, keep me away from State of Decay Two. Oh, okay. So now we're back. Now we're in the State of Decay Two. Now we're in right. State of Decay Two and reviews. It's still reviews, but yeah. we're rolling it now. And let me tell you, it kind of goes. It goes hand in hand. Yes, it does. For um, you at least, because remember, I wasn't gonna play it. I didn't think it looked fun. I didn't. I didn't think nothing of it when that when it was announced. Um, hell, I skipped the first one because of reviews. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. I never played the first one either, but I, that's because I'm not really Xbox guy like that. But that's neither here or there. Um, so when you told me about it and you said, hey, um, let's go about getting it so we can play it, and mm-hmm. I started playing it, I've realized how much fun I'm having with it. I'm having fun. I haven't had, I'm not going to lie. I haven't had so much fun playing a game since, uh, since, the, since Destiny 1. You, since Destiny, since Destiny one yeah. year one. Hey, and you know what? Nope. See, see, so much time into it, and so much effort into playing it, making it perfect. It's just so it's cap. It has captive. It, I it has captured me in ways that I didn't think the game would have. So shout out to you for the value you there, dog. Yep, I got you, know, you man. Und, Undead Labs, Undead Labs, they did that. Mm-hmm. Now let me tell you, um, last game I played this addict, like you said, for me it went Destiny one. Monster mm-hmm. Hunter World, and then this, because this actually made me put down Monster Hunter World. When I tell you I played three hundred hours of Monster Hunter, and I'm a dad who's also a <laughs> husband, <laughs> you was all full time. Sorry, so, man, I'm, I'm sweating. It's hot. Oh, I'm sweating, here, dog. Bro. I'm sweating. Ooh. I'm fat. I'm fat in here. Look, I got look two fans this. on me. I can't. I can't really see, but it, it just. Yeah. I got. I got. F- it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I don't even. I'm but, not uh, tripping. Yeah. So Monster Hunter, three hundred hours. But yeah. But yeah, I put in over three hundred hours into it, and I've hunted everything three or four times. Um, I farmed like crazy, and I still don't have everything. That's the part that I love. I still don't have everything, and there's still stuff I need to accomplish. And yeah. I'm only ranked like a hundred and something because I just it. But my point is, at that point, you might as well trophy hunt, dog. <laughs> no, no, you got bro. everything, but you don't got everything. No, bro, I don't. I there's still mantles I don't have. Mantles yeah. are these cloaks you put on to give you special abilities. I still don't have all the mantles. I don't have all the spikes. So that means there's optional missions I still haven't done. Like, bro, it's not even trophy hunting. It's literally just a matter of going down the checklist. <laughs> that's why I said you might as well trophy a no because trophy in the end that, nah. that game don't seem like it's never going in. and that's how I felt with Destiny One which was fine you know what I mean like I I felt that and I, I was fine I'm not that. gonna lie Destiny 2's trophy list was way easier than Def- Destiny One well you because I we I, already the know they made it for two everybody weeks, first two weeks I had I platinum that game Jesus. Or the, I'm sorry, the week Prestige Mode came out. I don't know if it was the second week or the third week, but I platinum that game that week. And Destiny One, I didn't platinum it until DLC Three. See, excuse me. This is the thing. I feel like you should. I feel like the ability to platinum a game that's supposed to be a, a games as a service, yeah, a type game, that uh, that should be so imp- almost damn near impossible to get. It it should you should have 
you should have goals that are so like outrageous, outrageous no, that only a person a, who who's played three hundred hours could do it. Like, I'm tell, you know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you the hardest game to ever like, and I I tried and I just couldn't do it. The only way I did it was because I had somebody in a in a hack the lobby god molded my game and gave me everything on PlayStation Three. Modern Warfare Two was the oh. hardest game in the world to try to platinum because remember you had to get outrageous stuff like kill somebody with a care package yeah like it had to drop on <laughs> hey i remember i got that on accident i called I, in a you, care package you could only get it yeah on accident. and it was it was a straight accident and the dude mm-hmm. ran by and fell to it and it fell on me i was like jesus yeah. christ i did it and you just mm-hmm. popped up i remember that yeah Man. that was stupid shit yeah but you know, it, but no, but think about that. Think about that. That's how it should yeah. feel. With a game that's supposed, with a game that's supposed to be ongoing, that's mm-hmm. supposed to have more than 30, 30 hour shelf life, that's supposed to have more than a hundred hour shelf life. You mm-hmm. should have those impossible goals that only come with time. Yeah. Like, like I said, like you. Oh damn! Somebody put in for uh, somebody put in eighty hours. Of course they yeah. got majority of the uh you know what you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and, but, and that's even on the low scale that's on the low scale but look at us we're off topic again look mm-hmm. with reviews that's how we roll man i'm sorry uh-huh. you guys listen we tend to do this we, we do, do this, this. Like 28 episodes in we do it every episode we really i'm do. sorry yeah that's what i don't even write down uh bullet points anymore it's no point be- because, <laughs> because i already know how it go, bro. give us one topic and we'll make an hour out and of we'll it. we will talk and talk and, and somehow destiny right. two will come into it we so, will talk and talk you know what the sad part about it is destiny two comes up in every damn episode. every episode <laughs> it, it, I, they probably so damn tired of that bro, game <laughs> hey i think I, I think the next episode we should try our best not to talk about it and see how awkward it gets. It's gonna um, be hard. We are gonna be in there with them so yeah, <laughs> them so moments. And because it, you know what it is, it fits in so many. It, it's such a positive negative experience, and it falls on all sides of the road. Mm-hmm. And you can talk about it and compare it to just about everything when it comes to gaming everything. and entertainment. Yep, because it deals with sales. It deals with lack of honesty. And mm-hmm. um, on the per, the guys who created it, it deals with us as consumers not doing our part and buying bullshit. Um, yeah. It it really does touch. It's damn. So I should, should write. Would you would it. you say Epic Games have gone corporate? Ooh. Would you say that? Because I, I'm looking for that company that I'm I'm looking for that company slash like Jay Z figure that are turned down. A billion trillion dollars. Trillion dollars. <laughs> well, you know, to... you, you know what's so funny with Epic Games? Aren't they over PUBG too? Aren't they over? Yeah, don't they? Aren't, didn't they have hands in PUBG and Fortnite? I don't. I have no clue. I want to say for some reason they do. I, I would... at least the 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 head company. I want to say the head company. Let me see. Let's go. Oh no, never mind. No, never yeah. mind. I'm I don't because if if that was the case, do you really think that a uh, what's name would have been going down? Yeah, the lawsuit. Hey, but yeah. look, but look, this is the thing. Epic Games. I'm looking at their games list. I think they hit they hit their stride because Gears of War, Unreal Tournament, Shadow Complex. I'm played majority of these games. Bulletstorm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Infinity Blade. I used to play the hell out of that on my brother's phone. Yeah. Uh, oh, even damn. back to Jazz Jackrabbit, I played the hell out of that game. Yeah. I played. I played that game so much. I even. I want to say I had. A, I found. Came across an emulator that was running it. Um. Uh, let me see all the Unreal tournaments. Um. Uh, dude, I played. A, they got a gang. They got a gang. I games. played a good majority of their games. To yeah. say they sold out. No, I just because I, I haven't seen any like I haven't seen any major moves on their behalf. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, you know, you know, go ahead. Like pub, like PUBG making the Xbox deal. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Like limiting people from playing PUBG to Xbox and PC, and not everybody, right? Okay. Epic 
games I haven't seen or heard, and maybe I'm just under a rock, I haven't heard of anything outside of Fortnite, new season, new damn skins, and V-Bucks. That's all I've heard. I haven't heard any like major news. Now, the reason why I said that is because me, I know I'm, and I can probably speak for you in this regards, I'm for the little guy. Like, I'm for the guy that does something that is, it started off small and it became this huge sensation. Mm -hmm. But the problem that happens, and the reason why I brought it up was in was with Bungie and Destiny and all of these other AAA titles that came out, you know, corporate, some corporate entity gets their hands in it and then you start thinking about the dollars. It's not no more about the game. It's not no more. It's like how much can we? And that's just what I feel, what I what I sense, and what I get from these, um, the this not this argument, but this type of uh, th this realm of activity that happens with these big companies. So that's why I was asking you about Epic because I haven't heard anything with them other than Fortnite and Fortnite doing its thing because they could easily somebody has. I guarantee somebody has approached them with some outrageous, outlandish number about something. You know what I'm saying? Well, it can't just be... And, and they've been silent on it because I haven't heard anything. Maybe, Like I said, maybe I've been under a rock. But, you know, they're still here. And they're still rocking. And I like what they're doing. Let me, let me tell you this. The only thing I don't like is the game being early access still. Well, let me, let me tell you this. If you really look at their model... They took, they took a lot of influence from the cell phone game, from the cell mm -hmm. phone industry, cell phone gaming. Yeah. Um, you make it available on all platforms, and you make it free, and then you, and then you only thing you charge for is extras, or to mm -hmm. make your experience faster. That's what they. Did. That's exactly That's what, they did. what it is. They took the Bro. cell phone. They took the cell phone. They took the cell. Phone. And think about cell phone gaming. It's long. People. I hate it. But not not only that, people Clash have of clans. it. People Fuck have up. it. Think about no, but that's my point. Everybody yeah. and a mama had it, and then you got it yeah. to a point where it was automatic. Some games are automatically installed as soon on as you turn phone. on your phone. It was there. <laughs> you can't disable. You can only disable it. You can't uninstall it. Yeah, genius. So what they did was they created, and I think they really blew up on Xbox because around the time they came out. There wasn't much going on for Xbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you really think about that, there wasn't wasn't much out. I mean, did you did you re watch that uh that e that that um I'm gonna send you this video. I don't think you watched it. The story behind Fortnite. Um, no, I haven't. Uh, uh bro, the story behind Fortnite is amazing. The game wasn't isn't it wasn't supposed to rival like no PUBG like it wasn't shooters and PUBGs. It was, it was supposed, supposed to be a base to building. My, it was supposed to remind uh, rival Minecraft. Yeah, it was supposed to be base building. And even even when, when go ahead. And when they they announced this game back in two thousand and eleven. Oh wow. Two thousand eleven is when Fortnite got announced, and the pre alpha build was like. It didn't. It looked similar to what we have now, but it was a little more, like blocky and choppy. And they literally announced it then. I don't actually. I don't even remember when they dropped it, but they dropped it, and it became this huge sensation behind this battle royale genre because we had games like PUBG. We had, uh, well, I don't think Rust was Rust wasn't a uh, battle royale. Um, H1Z1, DayZ, all these games, and they came out with their own. And it's so funny. They're shooting because... off fireworks over here, boy. Ooh, man, my hey. chest. <laughs> oh, damn. Hey, but you know what's so funny, though? I love the fact that it wasn't even... And I love it, and I feel bad for them, which, mm -hmm. not really. I feel bad for them creatively. It wasn't their main goal. Yeah. But yet, it's the only, it's the only reason a majority of people are playing it. Because yeah. if you want the story, from what I hear, the story mode is pretty cool. You're going around I trying to save it. the world. I think it's called Fortnite saves the world or some shit like that. Yeah. People are going and you got abilities. There's ninja, there's brutes, there's everybody yeah. has special stats and you get to get all these different characters. Like, and then, you know what, you know, what's so funny about that? If they really wanted to revamp the game and even add more to it, they could add those elements and create a whole new battle royale mode where you're playing. Mm -hmm. You got to play in squads 
and you got to play based on oh who's your assault person who's your brute who's your ninja and those are the abilities they could redo the game bro and and reissue bro it's it's no there's gonna be there's gonna be a mode like that yeah there's gonna be a mode like a squad mode like the ultimate squad mode yeah like you're playing one dude gets a sniper one dude gets a shotgun one dude gets a yeah yeah yeah. and the re Listen, they have did they did it in the perfect way, right? Because it is not hard for you to unlock the season pass just by playing in every season. Yep. Because they they award you with V Bucks for playing. You unlock the skins. You literally can just do all the, and the challenges aren't crazy hard. Get a hundred kills before the season's up, or go to three different landing spots and you get this pickaxe or whatever this this uh this the the, the axe tool they literally gave hey. they say hey play the game and experience hey, the full game or buy the game and experience the full game hey. and that's just what it is hey, i have a guy i have a I have a buddy that plays fortnite lit he, he plays it religiously right he hasn't bought a, a season pass since week three right yeah and i think they're on season five he bought the first season that he started. Or I, I want to see if it was two or three, right? And he played so much that every time he played every season, he had enough to purchase the next one the next season. And then the next season. See? And then the next season. Hey. And then all the skins that you see, like, these big YouTubers with, he got. Because he unlocked it. I'm like, oh, dang. When I really went down the, the checklist on all that stuff, I was at, um, at a... A cousin's house, and they unlocking the challenge. Hey, we gotta make sure we do the challenge before season five is up. <laughs> Bro. Get the challenges done. <laughs> Bro, hey, but think really think about that. Yeah. Think about and and the reason I compare it so much to the cell phone model, cell phone gaming. If you really go back and look at it, look at how many people were playing Candy Crush. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. It, it was genius. Look at it's Clash, genius. Clash of Clans would probably be the the one game you yep. can compare it to, but with Clash of Clans, it was you. If you paid for the game, you were rewarded in a way that was a lot better. Oh yeah, because you you paid, you got to upgrade your king and all of this. But that way of playing, giving me the option, and I still can enjoy the game and play. All I got to do is grind a little bit harder. I'm okay with that. But when it becomes unobtainable, yes, like I have to pay. To, to reach the end goal, there's no point in me playing. Hey, you know what's another point that we're not addressing that makes this game is going to give it that longevity forever? Mm-hmm. Is the fact that you don't, your advancement has nothing to do with your ability to kill. And when I say that, and I probably said it wrong, what I mean is you're, you don't go in with weapons. I didn't unlock the best <laughs> yeah the best <laughs> assault rifle in the game it's all luck it's all luck and where the gun where you landed where the the boxes are yeah so because i and i'm thinking about that because we've been playing call of duty world uh world war ii recently um mm-hmm. and i th- think about that i go in against somebody who's prestiged a million and a half times and they're running with the best single uh three burst whatever that the kills your sight that kills you on sight. Yeah, that kills you on sight. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing I can do except get better and hope I don't keep running into them. Mm-hmm. But here on Fortnite, you might luck up and get Thanos' gauntlet. Get the Infinity <laughs> Gauntlet. Yeah. No, you get what I'm saying? And that adds that adds a whole new element of where I feel like I can kill Ninja, which people mm-hmm. have. Yeah. He, he, he gets died. killed. He dies. He yeah. dies at tournaments. He dies in regular play. Like, you know what I mean? Like he, mm-hmm. and and that's a good thing. Cause think yeah. about, let's roll this over and let's talk about Call of Duty. And this is why they probably have to come out with games every year. Cause <laughs> that and to make money, mm-hmm. extra, extra, extra money. But think, think about that. You're not just going to run up and kill the number one guy in the game in Call of Duty. Why not? Because he most likely has the best weapon in the game, and as soon as he touches you, you hit the corner, you're getting lasered. Back See, in World War II, you know what? You're right. 
you are right because <laughs> right? obviously you have you have to unlock these guns yeah. in Call of Duty by leveling up. Yep. Um, He's it's have still the best a skill factor in it. Oh because no, skill skill comes into play. I'm not just skill factor. I'm it. not disrespecting the top player. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I'm not. But what I'm saying is the top player in Fortnite is still at the level ground when it comes to weapons. Right? I'm gonna disagree with you. I'm gonna disagree with you because Do you recently I've been start playing with better weapons. Huh? Do you start with better weapons? No, 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 no. I'm gonna disagree with you on the whole same playing field. Everybody, everybody's on. Yes, everybody starts off on the same playing field because you don't have any weapons. You only have axe. There you go. But the person with the you could start everybody off with no weapons, but the person with the mindset to go out and even not even get like a you may go get a scar, and TSM myth, myth may go get dual pistols, and nine times out of ten he gonna be he gonna you. work you because yeah. but see that's skills. I'm that's talking. I'm, that's I'm, what I was talking yeah, about. skills. That's that's something we can we'll never argue because I'll yeah. never forget. I got worked over by somebody in World uh, World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Wow, I was running wild years ago, and I got worked by somebody, and I was level ten, and they were like level two. Yeah. So I'm not even gonna sit here and act like <laughs> like skill. Yeah, yeah skill. Plays skill we factor. know skill plays a huge factor, but at the same time. You could have picked up Thanos' gauntlet just as well as mm-hmm. me. Because I remember, I remember playing Call of Duty, and whenever you jumped into a room with a phase guy on Xbox, whenever you you it it's all hands on deck, best guns out. Yeah, we gotta win type game. Yeah, and that's where like the competitive. But they was still scraping. <laughs> I remember. No, you know, you know what made me realize that there was skill in Call of Duty, like major skill in Call of Duty. When I watched one of my favorite Call of Duty players get a uh, get a nuke with a pistol, see what I'm saying? He did this fool did he try he got a nuke with every gun in the game. How sway? How sway? <laughs> How you skill. running around with pistols? Because skill, like you said, skill get matters. Nukes. <laughs> yeah, skill matters. Like we can't even but, at, yeah. we can't even sit here and disrespect. But you are correct though. Because you all you do start off on the same playing field, and the only time you start off on the same playing field in Call of Duty is the day the game come out, yep. because everybody starts off on the same t- at and, the same level, and even sometimes people people got the game early, early. so yep. now you're dealing with that. Yep. But no one's too far gone where they're uncatchable exactly. until you start getting like two, three, four months in the game. Where you got all the guns gold and you got them all prestige and all the attachments unlocked because I didn't re- remember we, when I jumped on when we were playing the other day, bro. We had I didn't nothing. have nothing. We had nothing. I had to use the I had to use the 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 standard hey. issued class <laughs> setups. That's what no and, lie. That's why I love working people over with the M1 gram <laughs> because I know on their heart I, they got to yeah, feel I, something like this dude I, just came out here with a pew pew. I think that's the and gun that that gun's actually OP. I love the M1 that, Grand. That every gun, game, every game that it's in, I use it. They had a gentleman's. They had a gentleman's agreement in the Call of Duty Pro League that they wouldn't use that gun because it got added into the rotation of guns. And one of another one of my favorite Call of Duty players, I won't say his name, uh, he uh, <laughs> he jumped on and used it. In a in a in a full live match and went bananas with it and people were calling them scumbag <laughs> for using it, but that gun's actually OP. But I love it. That's the only difference between like Fortnite and Call of Duty. But you but you are correct with Fortnite. You all start on the same bus. I could jump out when you jump out. Yep. And we can land at the same time. But if I find a crate and get a scar and you find a crate and get a a damn burst a blue burst. You know, if 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 you have a better shot than me, you're gonna win. You're gonna win, and that's yeah. and that's why, that's why this game will forever will be around forever, bro. Mm-hmm. This is and this I, is one of those I'm, forever games. I'm gonna accept that I was wrong because I said that the battle royale genre won't last, or wouldn't last as long as it's lasting now, and I have to take that back because I'm only gonna take that back for Fortnite because everybody else is playing catch up to Fortnite, and then it's free. Fortnite is. Free and free. it's ahead of the curve. It's free. Fortnite. Fortnite had Thanos's gauntlet in it. Yep. 
How do you get? Fortnite. How are you a free game over here getting Disney rights? You know what I'm saying? Fortnite had Thanos' gauntlet and Thanos in the game. Yep. You could play Thanos in the game of Fortnite. For as long as Fortnite continues to do what they do, I wouldn't be I wouldn't even be mad. This is the only exception I wouldn't even be mad for them to stay as an early access game if the experience stays the exact same what it is now. And that's why it's captivating all these kids cuz it's these kids that is that got it. It's and, the same and, thing and that guess, happened with Minecraft. Exactly. And guess what they else? They have accomplished it. And guess what else? It's instant. Oh, I died. Let's load oh, it back start up. Start again. Start it back up. Hey, and you you know what though? I think the one thing that's gonna decide how far this this stuff goes and if it's gonna continue with if other companies can continue it or it's just a Fortnite thing or a PUBG mm-hmm. thing is when um how these next generation of Battlefield and Call of Duty handle it. Because I'm you a- gotta remember Name recognition, same look, iPhone, Apple is what carries the iPhone, the name recognition. People people make the argument pictures look better. Yeah, of course if I send Bullshit. look look look. If I send I'm not even gonna go down there. I'm not even gonna go down there. <laughs> not gonna go down there. But my hey, point life, my, my point my point is people name recognition and brand recognition is very real. You're correct. So imagine if if imagine if Call of Duty cheaply took Fortnite and just made that shit first person, it would be so successful. Well, that's what they're gonna do. That's what they're gonna do. Well, I would say they're gonna do PUBG, yeah, not Fortnite, not Fortnite, but Call of Duty wise. The reason why I say that, and the reason why I say it's not gonna happen, is because people are gonna buy Call of Duty regardless. Regardless, people are gonna buy Call of Duty. People gonna buy Call of Duty if it even even if it didn't have a damn uh, battle royale game mode in it, sure. because they've been around so long and they have this loyal fan base, this finicky fan base as well. Because oh yeah, Call of Duty's here, we win. One week later, it's trash. Oh, five God, it's trash. But I'm gonna still play it though. That and I'm, I'm buy all the DLCs. Hashtag revive COD. Hey bro, uh, shut why up. would you revive anything that's already sold millions? It didn't it's die. not. And then die. That's just like when people go burn LeBron jerseys. I could copy and paste the next game over and you still go eat it up. But the reason why I said that about they're not going to do that is because if they do that, they cannot go back to the standard way of playing. You're going to already spoil a a fan base that's been spoiled. True. That's that pay 80, $150 a year year to be spoiled. So you're going to, now you're going to give me something for free. Ain't no, oh, ain't no, no, ain't no lie, bro. When you really think about certain games like that, mm. you're not far away from a subscription-based game, and that's scary. It's scary when you think about it. But think about where the where games are now. Yeah. The hell, Legend of Zelda had has DLC. When I seen yeah. that, I was like, the world is ending. <laughs> um, what was it called? World, what was it? World? What was the, the Zelda game called? Um, fudge your monkey! I don't have an Nintendo some Switch. Fire World Wild Fire Wilds or something. Uh, don't even get me started. I feel terrible. Yeah. I call myself a nerd. But hold on, I got you. Uh, Breath, oh, of, the Breath Wild. of the Wild. I, I need there to get me go. a Nintendo Switch because that's gonna be the first game I'll buy. Oh, I'm getting me one too. I want one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting one. Dog. I'm just poor right now. I'm getting me one. But um, yeah. No, I'm but my point is the... they have DLC. Yeah. So how far are we from every game is just an initial buy-in, and you pay a monthly service, or you just pay a monthly service? <sighs> I don't think we're far away from it. I don't think we're far because away from it. Look at how many successful but games already do it. The one thing the one thing you got to think about with subscription games like that is that especially on console or only for console is every console system ends. The light it has a life cycle. Every console system ends and a new console will be out later. Let me take it a step further. Let's piss off some people. Every games most game servers die. Of course, yeah. Except look, for, at, look at how look, look at how 
League of Legends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at how every year people are buying uh, the NBA, the 2K cash. What is it called? Right. V-Bucks? Is it V-Bucks? No, it's called uh, VC. VC. Virtual currency. Look at how often people are buying. Every year. Yeah. Every year every people... Year. Every year, people spend about two hundred dollars. First, they buy the game, and and, lo- and they're they gonna pay. buy the special edition. They're gonna buy the Bro. special edition. <laughs> they're gonna buy the special edition that gives them two thousand VC, and then and they're they, gonna buy more they, VC. They gonna they gonna spend and get more VC. You said two hundred dollars. I think it's more than that. Mm-hmm. I think these kids and these people is paying at least a life cycle of the game, at least a grand. I'm thinking it averages a grand. And you think I'm, so? You know, what? let me let me take that back. That's a lot of money. I'm take that back because that's based on that's based on 2012. I'm not sure if they still do the legend thing like they used to. Because oh, I don't really with the legend there. packs. Oh, bro, yeah. yeah. FIFA does it. Man. Madden does it. Yeah. But I know I haven't seen really people do. I've seen a lot of people play the um street. like the park. The street. They, they got to oh, level but, up their hey, character. But, but, think, but think about that. You want to go to the park and dominate, right? Mm-hmm. The game, I'm about to drop five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spend whatever it takes to get maxed out stats. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As soon as possible because I want to get out there and get ranked. Hmm. <laughs> I'm about to drop this five hundred. <laughs> what I got to pay this month? Uh, I'll pay rent next week. <laughs> I don't think it's five hundred, but it's up there. And I wouldn't doubt it because I remember I remember people buying them VCs like crazy back in 2012 just to get Allen Iverson, just to get Hakeem uh-huh. Olajuwon, just to get all these players. But then the game ended. I remember that was the most fun I had in a in a 2K game in a long time. Was playing to get those legendary characters off the thing and even buying VC back then to try to get those characters. And then you took me to telling me. I can't transfer none of this shit over. I gotta get the new one. Oh hell no, I'm done. That's the last time I bought the 2K. Bro, I tell you, bro. The, Matter of fact, that was the first and the last time I bought the 2K. My my 2K, the last, the most recent 2K I have is like 2K15. Mm-hmm. But aren't, you're like a every other year guy. I I went that route. Uh, if you go yeah. and listen to like my our first podcast, I talk about that. Yeah. Um, I, I talked about and how looking at your character, your, 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 your games. Yeah. I don't, I buy when it comes to sports games, cause the only ones I really like, uh, are 2k and FIFA. Ooh. Um, Madden was always too slow for me in comparison. And you, and you paid it, played it your whole life. <laughs> yeah. And I played football. Yeah. See, that's funny. I, I'm one of those where everybody was like, Oh, you play sports What you play football. You don't watch it. I'm like, nah. <laughs> I watch it, it more was, now. It was shocking. You didn't get into football till like after high school. Yeah, after I stopped playing. Like, yeah, I, I just it was like, why would I? I don't know too many people who go home from work and still do their job. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of people. Not a lot of people. Well, there are people out there who do they, it. They have to take your work home. Yeah, like editing videos and stuff like that. And yeah, oh, exactly. bro, okay. This is gone way on way too long, and we could talk about this on the next one as well. And I'll kind of end it with this. I yeah. want people out there to build up a skill, build up a skill that's you know towards the future, or you know that is always going to be needed. So for me, I've um, I've started going down the path of learning Python and learning how to code through Python. They got a bunch uh-huh. of different YouTube videos, and it's maybe something me and you can do. Um, we can yeah. do some streaming and coming up with a, or we can even come up with a game. We can make mm-hmm. a game or something. I don't know. But the yeah. whole the whole point is, we gotta come up and we gotta gain these skills that we know are gonna be needed in the future, or needed mm-hmm. now. Because look at what we're doing. We went well for me, as a what was it October? Before October, I never edited a video, never recorded audio, never formatted, never blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Hey, your Doom poster's moving, dog. That's kind of freaking me. Oh out. yeah, because I got a fan. Okay. So, yeah, sorry about yeah, that. It's, it's my fan. It's scary, huh? He he looks over. Yeah. Man. Um. Yeah. He he better. Yeah. He looking at me. Yeah. He don't trust you. Like Mona Lisa, dog. He don't trust you. <laughs> um. All caps. Okay. It's funny. It's funny name. you brought that up. I want to get into computer and uh, uh like IT stuff, mm. like fixing up computers. A lot of this stuff, you can get jobs 
off of self-taught skills. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, and then they'll pay they'll pay your certification. Like, they'll pay for you to go get your cert. Yeah. That's what happened at the company I work at. The guy went in with very little IT experience, if any. Mm-hmm. And they just paid for him to get all his certificates and all his training. And he had so what's just... up? When we gonna when we gonna build our own computer? No, see now, <laughs> now let me tell you. <laughs> I knew that was gonna change the whole mood. <laughs> no, it's not gonna change the mood. It's just I'm gonna give you straight up. Said so, no, man, leave you alone. <laughs> I'm not dropping five six hundred on a graphics card to accidentally chip it while installing man, you it. You don't have to. Uh, right, we'll, we'll talk about this off screen. Off. Yes, off you do. No, you I, don't. If I wanted 1080. I'm not. I'm not. Not off the rip, man. Listen, we'll talk about this off. All right, guys. I'm Baron J six seven. I'm T Jones, and we Thank took you guys way for too long. In. I really appreciate it. Uh, please check us out. All of our links are in the description. Uh, check us out on Tone Deaf Radio. Yeah. At, uh, what's it? Spreaker. Spreaker. Dot com. Backslash or forward, forward slash, slash Tone Deaf Radio. Tone Deaf Radio. Uh, you can just search on Spreaker Tone Deaf Radio. Or you can just search to Tone Deaf Radio. Game. Google Tone Deaf Radio. They yeah, everywhere. We're, we're everywhere, bro. Like, it's pretty like cool. Ants. Yeah, we everywhere. <laughs> Thought I told you that we don't stop. Thought I told you that we don't stop. All right, y'all. Peace. <laughs> Peace.